Good morning, YouTube. It's your man on the Rage George page coming to you live, live on YouTube. Well, as you know, with the thing going on with the pandemic, a lot of people, you know, having being put out of work and losing their jobs. We know the one big thing is if you live in a home, if you don't own your own home, but generally most people own your home, you got to pay a mortgage and you got to pay rent. Well, I live in public housing and that's the one thing is that my rip's pretty much based on my income. But a lot of people live places where rents can be kind of steep. Now, as you know, the government gave everybody like uh, who, who were, you know, who, gave, who did taxes a uh, check for $1,200 depending just on them and also how many pens they have. But you got to think about it. Some places, if you're just somebody, just you, and you get $1,200 and you live some places, like it's going to cost you your rent or your rent is double that amount of more. I mean, I know um, people out like far as uh, up around um, New York and out in California, you know, the rent is like sometimes $200, if not more than that. You know, I remember my um, nephew, he was staying in um, New York and he was had a one blue, one bed with a one bathroom, one bed um, studio apartment. It cost him 1500 a month for rent. Yeah, think about it. But around here, you know, twelve hundred dollars. You can probably if you rent a house. The most you pay for it maybe about five hundred, if not six. You know, and you know you get a little credit check. It's enough to pay your rent. But the thing is, other countries have put probate on rent and mortgages. So you know they you know in they you know like especially in Canada. Where in Canada. Where they put where a uh, stop on all you receiving a rent and mortgages, and they probate it to the last time you got it. You no, know, you like mean meaning that you have to pay more. Meaning like okay, you didn't pay for this month. Okay, if your rent was like okay seven hundred dollars, and then when they start back, you got to pay them. They got to start back at that seven hundred dollars. Not nothing extra. Not no fun. Not no penalties. Nothing. That's the money you you were paying that from the last time where they stopped it. And the same thing with mortgages. I think doing also some countries in uh, over in Europe, but not America. America is a very greedy, um, uncaring um, country, and it really puts more strain on the people who keep it going. That means that the everyday Tom, Dick, and Harry, Jane, and Mary who pay bills and and who pay taxes, while wealthy people get tax breaks, who get, you know, big businesses get a, uh, uh. A grant where they can get loans because the business is collateral. But you know, the everyday person should, you know, small business owner, you know, should be able to get a grant. But like I said, also the thing is like evictions, and you gotta be careful. Like I said, where I live is public housing, and I'm upset for in the video because they they might be moving sometime soon. I don't know when. Once the everything settles with this pandemic, they're gonna have to move me because like I said, this where I stay it was me and my mother, and they most definitely want this apartment. And um, but right now they don't want to move because the fact is you never know because if you move somebody someplace, and then if you have the the virus or wherever else has the virus and you get sick, they we you know they, I could probably sue. But like I said, you know, but people getting evicted, they shouldn't do that. When people don't have no jobs, when they barely can work, and then you get one check for twelve hundred dollars, and then you you know maybe okay I pay the rent. But then like, I still got light bill, I got water bills, got to feed my kids, got to feed myself. I got to keep, you know, got to pay my car insurance, got to pay this, got to pay that. That's nothing. What, ha what, what the government should have did, because, and this is the mentality of people thinking that, well, people get this money, everybody's going to be lazy. Yes, there's going to be some people like that, but most people want to work. They rather work. They want to have a place they can stay and pay their bills. You got a lot of people who maybe worked and struggled and, you know, and saved and scrimped to get their house. And then now, you know, they don't have a job. How are they going to pay their mortgage? How are they going to pay their rent? You know, you should think about the people who actually keep this country going. Don't think about people who just take, take, take from the country and don't put nothing back. And then they get mad when they have to pay more taxes because you make more. That's only fair. You know, what should have happened was this should have been put in a policy in which, all right, People who have mortgages and rent, there's going to be a stoppage of it. And, and like I said, it doesn't, and it goes to everybody. Like I said, I get um, Social Security and I still be able to pay my rent. But you know what? If I don't have to pay, that saved me some money in my pocket. 
you know. But still, you know, it's, this country is about money, 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 money. Take, 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 take. And the ones that give the most get the least. You shouldn't have to get kicked out of your house because you can't afford paying rent. Because remember, your job, your, most people, some jobs are not essential. Meaning you, you don't have to come to work. You know. No one should be worried about where they're going to stay at. You know, where, how you can put a roof over your family's head. Some companies, like the banks and landlords, should be more sympathetic. Because this could be you. I'm saying you're losing money. But you know what? It's the government's job to pay you for the money you're losing. Because you're the one who pay taxes. You got to think about it. When you pay rent, that goes to the rent landlords. And landlords have to pay taxes on that rent. That's their income. You know? It's only fair. And the banks don't have to worry about money because you know what? They can, the banks can, can survive. Most money now is based on credit, not real cold card cash. You know, you know there's a shortage of uh, coins and stuff because more people use their debit cards. No one really carry cash that much anymore. I don't really carry cash. I used to carry cash when I used to work a, a side gig, but generally I don't carry cash anymore. Who carries cash? You know, everything's, you know, direct deposit and debit. You know, more gas stations don't even carry money. If you carry some cash, you'd be like, look at you, we, you know. But it's just, you know, depending where you're staying at. The thing is, the country should be more concerned about the people. Not about the banks. Not about big business. Because if it wasn't for the, the, the people that keep those banks and big, big business going, they wouldn't have nothing. And let's remember this. There was a man called FDR. He was a president. And he saved the country out of recession. After one president, Hoover, Hoover brought it into a session by throwing money into the stock market, which is gambling. Rich people gambling. Gambling the money of the people who actually keep this country going. You see what happened. Right now, it's a, in a few, you know, in a, maybe about a, about a couple months, there's going to be an election. Now, both men are not the perfect choices, but right now, one is better than the other. And you know who. But like I said, if the other guy keeps his job, well, we'll be all right. We'll survive. It's going to be a headache for the next four years, but we'll survive. But right now, people need help. They need a place to stay. They need their homes. You know, and the government should, should be helping because if they don't do it, what's the point of us paying taxes every year? Nothing. So I would say to you, landlords, you bankers, you understand the hardship people are going through. Give them a chance. Give them a break. You know somebody who's behind the mortgage? They say, well, you know what? We'll wait another six months. You know, we just defer you. Like, you know, because I got a student loan. I get it deferred every every year. You know, I get to defer you until when things, things get settled and back to normal. Then you go, go back, pay your rent, or you pay your mortgage. But we not have to put your late fee. We're not going to put no penalties for you. We're just going to start back where you started. That's only fair. You should man all the rage, George Page. Like, don't like, subscribe, don't subscribe. I'm out.